man can definitely throw down. Uh, it, it is the snack of C4. If you are close enough to the ground, the Zare won't come out, and it will place it on the ground. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, you just you got to do the Z-drop super close to the ground, and then, therefore, the uh, tech won't. Or the... Uh, uh, the zero won't come out. I feel that. There it is, man. All right, man. I'm feeling this first match we got here. Liquid Nairo going up against my man, DJ Jack. Excuse me, TGL. DJ Jack. Let me get that right for him. I feel like Nairo, no matter what character he's going up against, like, it's just hard to say, like, he could ever really have a lack of match experience. If you ever watch his stream, the man plays the whole cast. Oh, yeah. Like, and, and at a pretty high level at that, so... Definitely nothing, uh, too many surprises are going to come out here. Doing a good job here with the spacing uh, so far, but DJ Jack does get in. And Nairo was telling me, man, he's trained harder for this tournament uh, than he has in a very long time. Like, just kind of breaking bad habits. You know, Indeed. even adding, you know, a character or two into the repertoire, which we could see later on in the bracket here. Okay, recovering extra low right there. Very smart. Oh, okay, so I don't, he just didn't believe. He, didn't. He, he got that hit, yeah, but he immediately dropped into shield right there. He definitely didn't believe that he was going to get that hit. Oh, so uh, just like that, though, Nairo, you know, I was playing with him the, uh, uh, actually a day before we left. Yeah. And I noticed I was like, I was talking to him, I was like, you know the big uh, reason why you're a tough player is like not even like your are the game. It's just the level of confidence you exude in situations where even if you mess up, you're not rattled by it. And like that's the signs of a top player for most top players. They're confident in their actions. Everything they do isn't always guaranteed. Right. It's just a really, really educated guess, and their confidence is gonna hit. And if it doesn't hit, they're okay with the consequences of getting punished. Where most other people want to stay so safe that they actually don't throw out a lot of uh, attacks, and therefore they end up losing for that reason right there. That See, like there, yeah. he, he probably could do something safe. Probably could have just stepped back and said, "He's like, you know what? I'm gonna try to go for this up B." You know, I got the lead. I mean, you just gotta you gotta play with that level of confidence. You know, yeah. like, just know that even if you're down, we've seen it before. He's down 150 percent on his last stock. He's still gotten the W because the comeback factor and the potential is always just there. Right now, he has got got to worry about a comeback. Right now, he is in uh, firm control right here of DJ Jack, who's struggling True. to just land right here. Naro keeping full control. Gonna whiff that, however. Yeah, got the up smash. Uh Locked right there, and then immediately getting the back throw. That was a little wild right there. I'm surprised Nairo did try to turn around and get a uh, back air right there. But, uh, you know, he's probably already in the air, so he's just like, you know, let me come in with this, uh, with this neutral air instead. Oh, Whoa. No. Ooh, that's, oh, that's scary. I He should have died. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's it's kind of like Jack just uh, just hesitated a little bit. You know, did not pull the trigger. We know Ryu, he takes stocks, you know, so quickly. And Nairo was in that kind of percent where, you know, that's that's a gamble to whiff something like that. And 121 on Ryu right now against Super Light ZSS. I feel like he could have potentially killed him with a uh, with down tilt to short, short you can, but he just kind of <laughs> let that one go. And, like, Nairo and Velvet Room Kai probably yeah. agreeing about that. Like, yeah, you know what? I mean, you should have won. Yeah. yeah, you're right, man. Yeah, man, don't, don't drop the ball anymore, man. Could have gone different, uh, but the slight hesitation did cost him right there. And I love uh, how Paradin's always in the background for Nairo's matches because, like, Nairo's not going to pop off, but Paradin, she'll do it for him. <laughs> Definitely be popping off. Let's man. go, Nairo. That's the kind of mod I want, man. Somebody who's here to support me, man. Good right, commentary, man. Phil. Thanks, man. Good job, man. Also, man, we got an update from the uh, from the Twitterverse, man. Mars Angbad right now is apparently a uh, one-one, so that's a uh, pretty okay. that's go. pretty big. Uh, Angbad, the Olimar player, and Mars, uh, the ZSS player from uh, basically Tri-State now. I mean, like, yeah, like, like he just be there, is. like it's not even. Anyway, so right now, man, DJ Jack. Uh, Doing a decent job, at least, uh, you know, giving Nairo a little bit of trouble right here. Almost could have potentially won that game uh, with the amount of rage that he had and, uh, you know, and uh, an up B. A true sure you can at least. Right. But either way. It happens, man. It happens. You know, I got to imagine, you know, DJ Jackson match, he's got to be pretty comfortable with as well. You know, you think Nick Riddle, you think Florida, you know, definitely an amazing zero suit out of that region too. So, you know, both these guys with no lack of experience in this matchup. Let's see if it'll shine through. Okay, Nairo right there just playing the spacing game quite well. The neutral layers look, all looking safe on shield, and when he gets too far, he's throwing out that Simon Belmont, the neutral air into the... Oh, okay. Just adding that extra damage. That was a very nice conversion. Ooh, Ooh, and there it is, and that's what Ryu does. Quick as lightning. That was a... Uh, that, was, that was an alpha counter, man. <laughs> Jesus. So just like that, man, Nairo out of that stock, and DJ Jack uh, up. Is that initially? I think that was a forward air trade that uh, that he used with that up air. But regardless, forward air be doing mad damage too. It really does. Oh, nice like, done. Like a clean 16. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Oh, a little wow. risky grab right there, especially being at 61%. DJ Jack got a lot of rage right here. 
Again with the ca uh, power shields. Whoa. All right, managed to get... Uh, that was probably an accident, but most likely I was going for a, uh, a fire Hadouken. Ooh. And Nairo is just getting overwhelmed right here. So hard. You know he wants to go for a grab, but it's like if you whiff it, you're probably dead. Oh, uh, okay. Happy. I believe. There I is. believe, and he believed right there that the up was going to ring. I mean, that definitely could have been in that stock. Uh, DJ Jack had the block in time, but regardless, man, as I said, Nairo, the confidence on knowing that that was going to hit, so I'm going to keep it moving. Once again, going for probably an oh. All right. Okay, that was, Jack gets it. That was pretty free right there. Easy elbow into the shore. You can just up to DJ Jack. Taking, uh, taking the game from Nairo now. As, as I said, you know, that was a very close game, uh, first game, too. Uh, with Nairo, he had he had him in that point where like that rage could have been a real problem for Nairo. So Nairo's got to watch uh, where he's how he's playing and maybe even uh, think about another stage. Yeah, you know. I probably wouldn't run it back to Smash. Though. Yeah, I, don't I don't think, I, I, think I, I change up change up the scenery uh, a little bit. I would like to say maybe Town City, but he just died earlier too, so he's got. To I think Battlefield's a good pick. Battlefield, I'm with it. Okay. All right. There's him still in the back with the pops. All right, uh, I'm watching. I'm watching Perry more in this match right now. I'm <laughs> waiting for every stock loss and see and see the pop offs. I feel like I'm hearing her more than you. Right now. <laughs> this girl is live for her boy, man. Gotta love that, man. Gotta love good smash action. As we are in game three here, now we're opening up here. Nice. Ooh. All this off of one Ooh. grab, by the Ooh. way, folks. That Ooh. is why ZSS grab is oh, so important. Okay. All of that off of one grab. Think about that. And Think this, about that risk reward. And the platform placement over here, Battlefield, definitely helping that combo extend yes. to the blast zone, which is a very good call, as you said, for him to go to Battlefield right here. As you see, I mean, it definitely paid off for him. The man has not even taken a percent yet on this third game. Now, Jack, you can't go from winning a game to getting JV3. That <laughs> Don't do Summon it. that playbook just ain't hand up. I mean, oh, Dang, there we go. Get the, get the clean 16 right there. Oh, almost started something real nice, too. I saw the uh, up tilt to the neutral air, but Nairo managed uh, to get through that situation with an air dodge. Trying to focus nice that chase down. Nicely done. Here we go. Okay. Oh, the patience. I like that. And nice. The multi-hits really neutralizing that focus attack. Indeed. It looked like Jack was ready for him to probably go for another up air, and Nairo was kind of in position for it, but instead he just like, you know what, man? Uh... I'm going to decide to get this damage off this up smash instead. Jack, not letting him down right here. Yeah, but Bicep. Now we're, doing, now we're doing a good job just playing the platforms. Yeah. Okay. Still hitting him with the old Simon Belmont. Got the neutral air. We'll be back here, but nothing crazy. And this is, I mean, Nairo playing it right, right here. A huge lead. Not going to leave anything to chance. Again, Ryu, just one of those characters that oh, just okay. never quite want to let your guard down against. Indeed. No matter the lead. I mean, like 118 on his last stock, not only at 65%. I mean, still has the potential to die pretty soon. Uh, assuming he gets hit, like, oh, Ooh, oh hold up. Never it. mind. Just steal that's that. It, doesn't yeah. even matter. He's like, I got it, man. So, yeah, man. DJ Jack, that second game was looking uh, very positive for him. But then after that, Nairo came out with the straight fire on that third game. Okay. All right. So, I mean, like, I, I just. Oh, you see, you see Vicky Kitty over there eyeing Nairo, like, first I'll take your stocks, then I'll take your girl. <laughs> Calm down, Nairo. Calm down. I see you, Nairo, man. Calm down, man. Calm like, down, man. Family friendly stream right here, man. My family boy. Family friendly. Anyway, man, very good matches right there coming in uh, from or from DJ Jack and Nairo. I mean, yeah. I have to say, man, like, game three, DJ Jack obviously showing you that he still has the power to run with these top players out of here, so. Or game two. It was game three. No, I mean, it went like, to game oh, three. Oh, going to game yeah, three. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Game three. My was bad. Like. Game two was the game where he was showing you that 